Hey, why would I bring uh, these characters into view in, in BR3D? Well, the main thing is, is that, that um, since there are two lenses, um, your uh, average two-dimensional camera will not be able to, especially with sequence or anything that's reflective, even holographic, you're not going to be able to perceive it in a 2D um, format. It'll, you will only be able to perceive stuff like this in 3D. And so that's the reason why if you look at 3D footage, uh, one of the things that the they'll do in the presentation of other people's content, and th this happened with... Um, Elton John's uh, concert and that they advised him to wear a rhinestone jacket because such such uh, clothes you cannot perceive accurately in two di two dimensions. Um, you d you don't get the effect. You get something sparkly. You don't see what is. You know you don't see the sequence. You don't see the holographic properties, and so I can just hold that in front of the camera there and you can see that it's um, and it's because of these this holographic the holographic properties I can't even see them in my preview camera for the for the uh, so maybe it, it would be much more the case if I brought this LED light down in front of the and then we you're able to see more of that so we just looked at the Look at both of them together. It's hard to do this because the uh, the uh, preview software is not showing the mirror version. I wonder if it'll if it's got a way of giving it. No, they don't do that. So you have to. So. Whoop. Do, 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 do. I have to keep it back a certain distance because uh, you're not going to be able to focus in on it. It's actually dangerous. Some people can't do this. If you move something like really close to their face, it... Uh, it hurts their eyes, and they, there's some people that got a medical condition that will actually, it, it uh, I don't know what it does to them, but there's a medical condition that uh, it can be dangerous to, to force somebody to look close at something, because what it does with their eyes can be damaging to the eyes, I guess. I could focus on such things that are really close up. I also have the ability to layer images uh, within about three degrees or so, three, four, five degrees. So actually, it's it's, it's about what's the extent? Of it? It's this, it's that much, yeah. So it's just about oh, I don't know how much that is. This distance. I can layer things that much, so I can I can get the cat to go just a little bit this far, so the center of the cat would be there. So about that much from where I'm sitting, I can layer images, and that permits me to to look at content. Um, images. I can look at images, individual 2D images uh, of a 3D stereogram, and I can hold it 
the papers in front of my face and actually see the content in 3D. And uh, because I can layer the images. And that's what you need in order to be able to see the content in 3D. Let's see. So let's bring that down. That was. Uh, get to do this with the sequence. Otherwise, they. There's something. You, you can see the cloth underneath. So you have to brush the sequins down. In this case, you have to brush them back because of the grain, which is where the sequins are. I didn't know this about sequins until I just did this just now. I was just like, uh, why are they doing that? And you have to, I'm realizing that you have to brush the sequins to get them to um, to get to to behave right and this guy is kind of funny in that some of his sequins are holographic they're using a holographic print thought it was just the flip side of a I guess it is the flip side of the sequence yeah uh, it is the flip side of the sequence have the holographic effect so if I can find the um, sequence that are colored and if I can flip them over then they're going to show the holographic effect Some of these it's just not going to be possible to get them to flip back because of the the uh, cloth, I guess. I can do it on that. Why can't I do it on this? There, um, yeah, there's something going on there. These I can do. It. Let's see, let's see what I'm doing. if you mess with the sequence way too much they'll start falling off so you have to can't do this too much you probably wonder where I got these grocery store they had them and they were kind of on sale and I just went and bought a whole bunch of them for my mom and Actually, I don't think they were on sale at, um, at all. I think I was just feeling sorry. I just wanted, uh, I think it was after having an argument or something that I brought these over and just tried to raise our spirits a little bit. But for her, they just ended up, they just ended up going on a shelf. But uh, now you can see that sparkly property that the and you can see the holograms and the um, the sequins you can see that you can see the sparkly properties of the penguin and you also see the glitter in the uh, cats the center so I have to adjust this thing until the center of vision is right here right there mm -hmm. 
the fun you can have with reflective things. Turn the light off. Turn both of those off. Let me show you my other little toy here. This is um, something that will never happen in ray tracing. You put a light at something, like um, something that sequins, you're not going to see the, the trails of the sequins from uh, the light. You're also not going to see the color of the sequins um, on other things. So like there's this, this little cloth here. If I put this here, you should be seeing some pinkish. So that you're not going to get that in ray tracing. Uh, you got something that's got a, a, a real solid color to it. Let's see if I can this is this red right here. Let's see this red, and if I see how the on the cloth it's slightly red that is that that's called radiosity a radiosity effect and um, you will not get that into you will not get that color bleed in the ray tracing and in order to simulate that you have to add extra lights to the scene and you, in Blender, you would have to use a layering effect so as to not get um, red color on things like the book, I guess, or in the in the darkness of the book, because it, it might look kind of strange. But then you what you do is you put a red light down close to the edge of the book. You layer it with the um, white cloth and the, um, so that it only affects the cloth and it doesn't affect the color of the book because you're going to put the red light really close to the book. It, you don't want to see the specular of the, of the light, but you want it to, to make the cloth red. And, and, uh, then you get your effect and it looks, it looks cool. You can get it ray traced, but ray tracing will not, um, the, the stuff you see in the background, how the color of the lights are lighting the, uh, um, 
lighting the walls and you got this soft shadow. And in some places where there's no light, the the um the color coming off the wall is what's lighting the rest of the scene. That junk you will not get in ray tracing without some additive effect that is not ray tracing. Um Uh -huh. Ah. Whew. I'm falling asleep. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll just end this.